Hey everyone, this is Eran Stern for Artbeats.com with another tutorial and this time we are going to make it happen in Premiere Pro. This tutorial is all about HDR, High Dynamic Range Toning, which means that we will try to mimic the HDR effect here in Premiere Pro. We utilize the power of the Mercury playback engine to get a real-time playback. Now it's not going to create a real HDR video shot. For that you have to shoot it like uh, an HDR image, meaning that you have to take different exposure and then combine it together, which is a little bit difficult when it comes to video. But we will be able to pull out information from the clip and make it look like an HDR toning. Very similar to what Photoshop CS5 has got to offer you under the image setting. So what I'm going to do here is almost stretch the sensor sensitivity in order to get more range out of it and then create the effect. For that we are going to base our techniques on few effects and blending mode. All of them will be able to play in real time and harness the power of the Mercury playback engine. Now this works best on a landscape in nature shot, but it can also works perfect on people portrait as well. I performed few tests before and I think that this technique gives better results than using the vibrance effect, the US saturation and also the shadow highlight effect. Now I have to give credit for a talented broadcast designer named Maor Elimelech, which helped me to create this technique. So without further ado, let's start examining what we can do here. I have few clips from artbits.com here in my timeline, and I'm going to drag the first landscape nature clip of this mountain on top of the new sequence icon here and this will generate a sequence in the same dimensions and the same codex. I'm also going to press on the forward slash in order to fit it into our view and I'm going to show you a few tips and techniques inside Premiere on top of what we are doing so prepare yourself. There will be a few shortcuts which I hope will serve you well when you are editing. I'm going to close the audio for now because we don't have any audio clips here. Just make room a little bit for my video. And then let's just watch this shot in its original mode, just pressing spacebar so we can enjoy this fantastic mountain view. And now we are ready. So let's grab this clip and copy it into memory. Now I'm going to target video two, make sure to uncheck video one and press command or control V in order to paste a duplicate here. And then I'm going to do the same for video three. So I'm going to target it and paste a new copy. We need three videos for this effect to work. Now I'm going to turn off temporarily the eye for video three and let's concentrate only on video two. I'm going to select it and then here under my effects panel, I'm going to press on this icon which will isolate only the accelerated effects that can be played in real time using the Mercury playback engine. Now I have to say that this method will work also if you don't have an accelerated NVIDIA card, but if you do have it, it will bring a lot of power and real time performance to this uh, environment. So let's just scroll down and we'll start with actually here under opacity, I'm going to turn this triangle, dismiss the opacity stopwatch because we don't need any keyframes here. And first I'm going to change the blend mode of this layer from normal to soft light. Now I'm going to hunt for the Gaussian blur effect and I'm going to drag it under the opacity, change the blurriness here to say 30 and make sure to tick the repeat edge pixels here. Let's just press here to see the whole menu. Now I'm going to 
go down the list and under channel I'm going to drag the invert and place it under the Gaussian blur we don't need to change anything here so I'm going to close the triangles here just climbing down the list under the color correction category and from here I'm going to drag the tint effect which will make this clip black and white I'm going to close this as well and just hide temporarily the video one so we can see what we have done to video two and this will be the first step now I'm going to once again return to my timeline highlight video number three and then make sure to select it open the opacity once again dismiss the keyframes here and here I'm going to change the blend mode of the clip from normal to linear light and reduce the opacity to around 30%. And that's the recipe. Now you can see that it brings a lot of details, especially here under the rocks, and makes the clip much more vivid. We can of course play it in real time. And if we like to compare it to the original, we can double click on video one, which has no effect whatsoever. And then we can see it back to back side by side. Now, if you like to play them together side by side, you can go to this menu and this is the first tip and ask Premiere to gang the source and program monitor. Now, if I'm going to go to the beginning and just scrub my timeline, we can see them both playing side by side. And now you can get your impression of what this effect might look like. Now, if you want to make it easier for future uses, we can save it as a preset and then apply it to a couple of clips altogether. In order to do it wisely, I'll recommend to follow the steps that I'm going to show you exactly as I'm doing it. First, I'm going to select video two, then I'm going to highlight the effect control of it, and then we need to select it in the order that we want to keep the effect. So I'm going to press on the opacity and then hold down command or control and press on the Gaussian blur invert and tint effect. And then I'm going to this option menu here, the flyout menu and ask Premiere to save this preset. Now I'm going to call this HDR V2 for video two and I'm going to press OK. Now let's do the same for video three. So select video three. And this time we only need to save the opacity options, the things that we changed here. So highlight the opacity. And then once again, ask Premiere to save a preset. And then I'm going to name this one HDR minus V3 and press OK. Now let's dismiss the accelerated effect, open up the preset. And there we have it, HDR V2 and HDR V3. So let's make some room here and let's drag another shot. This time it's not going to be a landscape. It's more like a portrait shot of this beautiful carnival actor. So let's return and do the same thing. I'm going to select this clip, copy it to memory, press shift and align my cursor to the beginning of the clip and just paste it on video two and then repeat the same steps but deselect video two so it will be pasted on video three and now let's select video two drag on top of it the hdr for video two and drag on top of this one hdr video three and now of course we can compare it by double clicking on the first video and see side by side the result now in this case we have a lot of bright areas here in the shot so we may want to return to the effect and change it now i recommend to start with video three in these circumstances so select video three go to the effect controls drill down opacity and try to change the opacity first so when you change it, you can see that we are bringing more details to the shot. Another option is to change the blend mode from linear light to maybe soft light. And this will also bring a lot of details back to the shot. 
But now we have a new problem because this shot looks like it needs a little bit more of a contrast curve. I'm going to show you how to fix it in a moment, but let's just do the same for the rest of the clips that we have here, and then we will fix them if there is a need. So I'm going to once again make some room here, place my cursor at the end of this clip, and then return to the project panel, and I'm going to select this clip, maybe this clip using command, this one, and the last one is this clip. And you will see the reason why in a moment. Now, in order to make it a little bit more faster than before, I'm going to make sure video one is highlighted and then press on the automate to sequence command and make sure that I'm going to dismiss apply default audio and video transition. And the method that I'm going to use is insert edit with my selection order and then press OK. Of course, I can just drag it down, but I wanted to show you some different method. And now that we have several clips here, we can select all of those, copy them to memory, and then paste them on video two. And then I'm going to press on page up a couple of times until the cursor has reached the first cut here. And then highlight video three and paste once again. And once again, let's just zoom so we can see the whole timeline. And now we can select all those clips here just by marquee around them and drag our HDR V2 and it will apply to all of the clips at once. We will do the same for those copies on video number three. And let's just watch what we have here. And once again, I'm going to double click on my video one so we can get a side by side comparison. Now, obviously, we have a better definition, lots of details here. I'm going to just switch to full screen, then maybe play a few seconds here. But due to the nature of this HDR toning effect, we have an oversaturated clip here. So for that, we can select video two, return to its effect controls and dismiss the tint effect which will actually behave as an opposite due to the invert one here and just return the colors to their natural environment. Once again, we can double click in order to get a comparison. And if we want just a little bit of saturated result, we can return to the effect controls. Once again, enable the tint effect and maybe just play with this amount to tint until we get something which looks better. So maybe only 20% here. And once again, you have to compare it, if you like, to your original. I think this one has much better definition and I will go and stick with the results that I have here. Now let's check it in a different circumstances. This clip, for example, has a lot of bright information. Once again, I'm going to double click in order to get to the original side by side and to do some kind of modification to my preset. So as I told you before, in these circumstances, we can select video three, return to the effect controls, and maybe just try to change the opacity or change the blending mode maybe to soft light and then do once again a comparison side by side. So we bring a lot of details here to his hair, but we kept all the color information and I think it looks a little bit better. Now let's do one more here. So double click in order to get some kind of comparison. And the water here looks great, a lot of sharp details but once again, too much saturated colors. So I'm going to return to video number two and maybe just dismiss the tint effect for good. So now we have only the HDR toning effect without the saturation. I'm going to play this one because this is just an ultra slow motion clip, just amazing. And once again, I just want to show you, I'm using here under playback resolution, full resolution, and I'm going to take it to full screen, press on page up to return to the start of the cut, and just going to press spacebar to show it to you 
full screen and you can see the result is just amazing playing in real time full hd thanks to this method and of course to the mercury engine playback now the last step is to show you how you can add more contrast to clips such as this one and this one so i'm going to select the three copies here of the first instance the first clip right click on it and choose nest and this of course will create a timeline from this clip and nest everything inside so now i can select this clip once again i'm going to only show my accelerated effect go under color correction and i'm going to choose maybe luma curve and just drag it on top of this clip and maybe just lower the curve here a little bit of course you can modify it to taste so maybe a little bit of a definition at the bright colors and once again i'm going to press spacebar just to show you that it's still performing in real time so we can use the same trick for the other shot i'm going to copy the luma curve effect and then select the three clips here right click on them nest this clip select it in the timeline and paste the effect in order to add a little bit more of a contrast beautiful now before we're going to say goodbye just want to show you a last and very cool tip remember this one is a nested sequence so if i want to see the original one if i'm going to double click it it's just going to open the nested sequence so it doesn't behave the same way as before. I'm going to return to this and maybe also let's close this nested sequence. And there is another way here. Make sure video one is highlighted, select your clip and go under sequence and ask for match frame. Now it almost works. It doesn't really work because this is not the original one. See what Premiere did is place the nested sequence here and you can see here under the source name, the nested sequence 03. And this is not what I wished to see. This is not the original one. So if I really want to see the original clip, I can select the clip and press on the undocumented shortcut Shift T. And Shift T will match frame the clip inside your sequence or your nested sequence and then I can double click on the original, return to the final version, and then we can see it side by side. So this is a very cool way. If you want to compare your shot, I'm going to return to this one as well. Select it, press Shift T in order to open its original nested timeline. Let me just show you that this is it in fact. Double click on the original, and then return to our corrected and more HDR toning look and then we can see it side by side. So I hope that you got few tips and techniques from this method and I wish you a great holiday season and just before we say goodbye let's just double click on this shot see this is the original and this is the result that we have here so we can also improve the holiday spirit. Let's make this short full screen and just play it through the end of this tutorial. So until next time we'll meet, this is Eran from Stern Effects for Artbeats.com. Wish you great HDR toning and happy holidays, everyone. See you soon.